almost $11,000 of our $15,000 budget. I might be onto something here. Taxi one made it. Expand that bridge. Oh, is this going to work? Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. But admit it. It was closer than you thought it was. The only thing I've actually learned so far is the less logic I use, the more success I find. Car has to go through all these stars to the other side. That should be easy enough because most of my bridges, to be fair, look like this anyway. So it's going to look something like that. Probably just needs a little bit of support. In the end, this will be a pretty wonky bridge, but it's still pretty straightforward. Like I'm doing a very basic build on this because there's only so much I can do with it. Still needs a little work. So far it's working super nicely. I should have paid more attention to the car's big wheels because it could probably actually go up and down really steep slopes. Oh, it didn't go in the water though. I blame the car. And with this, we might just have ourselves a functioning bridge. But then again, maybe not. So far so good though, it's not even under that much stress. Considering how much of a simple build this is, I'm really happy with the results. I'm getting smarter every time I play this. Eh, oh, I didn't think it was going to pick up that star for a second. So we're at 41000 out of our $75,000 budget. Again, it's not the most exciting of bridges, but it works. And okay. Easy. As far as budget's concerned, I actually did really well on that compared to most people, which is surprising because normally it takes me a lot to do my stupid ideas. Suspension bridge? I don't like to hang bridges, I like to build them from the bottom up. One small car, one heavy car, going all the way over to there and it's got to get over the boat. But they can just go at the usual level, they don't need to go up or down at all. They just need to go really, really far. Overall, it's a very symmetrical bridge. I'm not sure if it's going to hold up here in the middle, I need to make clearance for the boat. So let's see if it even holds itself up. It needs a little work. Since my bridge keeps tearing itself apart right in the center, I'm just going to keep adding triangles until it works. That's my secret. And look at that. The bridge holds itself up now. Probably won't hold the cars up. But we'll get to those when they get there. Oh, they're already starting to cross. I feel like the blue car is probably going to make it, but the red car probably isn't. Let's go back up to 100% speed and see what's happening. Actually, this might work. Somehow, it is. I don't know why. It's just a very symmetrical geometric bridge. 50000 of our $84,000 budget used. Not that exciting yet. Here we go. Car A needs to go all the way up to here, and car C needs to go over here, presumably after car A. I'm just throwing up a temporary bridge. Hopefully it holds up, just to see the order of things. I wanted to know if the hydraulics happen first or second. Okay, so we got to put the red car up to the top, then the hydraulics activate to change something so the second car goes down there. Which means I've got to delete approximately this. So we're going to need a few more triangles. So far so good, the bridge seems to hold itself up, only barely, but the red car makes it. Now we just got to figure out a way to get the other car down to the other side. Maybe if we're lucky it'll just collapse and it'll land down there nicely. Oh, that almost works. Right, let's watch this in slow motion to see exactly where the break happens. So far so good, I did add a little more enforcement there. Reinforcement. The bridge broke, but not breaking enough. I need to make it a little bit weaker here. Unless it's happy to just push that car out of the way and it's going to land where I need it to. That would be okay. Come on, make it backwards. I think it's leaving us. My strategy right now is basically replaying this. I'm removing one piece of the bridge every single time because I think the van weighs more than the car. Starting to get down to not many pieces left to delete though before the whole thing's just not going to work anymore. This might collapse on the red car. It might not. No, we're still pretty good. That shows how much extra stuff I'm usually putting on these bridges. Oh, so close. But that does kind of give me an idea. I could probably break the bridge with my hydraulic. All I've got to do is connect it to, say, this piece. Uh, Make it be a pivot point right here. Then I've just got to pull down really hard on it. We've got to contract 50%. That should tear the bridge apart and the van should fall right to where it's supposed to go. I didn't realize it didn't actually reach the first time. So we're going to pull from maybe right here. Can it, will it not bite that joint? All right, it's going to pull down right here, contract 50%, and we'll see what uh, outcome that has on the bridge. It's going to be more or less what I want, but probably a little bit more on the less side of things. There we go. Oh, this might actually work. I believe in you, Van. Okay, I've got to reinforce that side of the bridge, but you see my idea. A few minor reinforcements later, and we're going to see how this works. Red car going up. Red car is never a problem. It's a good car. It's that Van that wants to make things difficult. Now let's see how the bridge folds this time. Not too bad. I do like the way you can just fold it like that and it doesn't really have an issue with it. I might have to make that tighten up more, but is it going to hold now? Oh, this might work. Come on, ram through it. Yeah, we did it. I can't believe that actually worked. That didn't take long at all. I think this one was my favorite so far because it actually collapses the entire bridge as it finishes. Instructions. I don't do well with these. Van, hydraulics, boat, boat, hydraulics, car. Got it. At least we'll be able to get creative with this one. Van's going to go through, collect the star. Go on up, hydraulics, other car, something like that. I can't remember the order, but I do kind of have an interesting idea about this one. Now, this might seem stupid, 
Probably because it is. But what I'm going to do is lower the bridge under the water because it's easier to lower the bridge that little bit than raise it over. Although I just realized I don't even collect the star doing it this way, so never mind. What I have currently looks something like this. A little bit of roller coaster at the top just to make it fun. Will this thing even hold itself up though? Not quite yet. It even gives me steel cables like I need anything except for wood to build a bridge. Starting to understand why they give you steel beams and cables to make this one work. It's a long ways to go with very little support. But I think my van might finally make it across. Well, we'll chalk that up to a win anyways. A few improvements later, the van was happy to eat the star, and off it goes. So far so good, the problem is I have $4,000 left to uh, build the hydraulics. And we're gonna need the hydraulics because that happens. So I never really knew this before, but you can actually just anchor your hydraulics from the bottom point to the upper point, so you can lift the entire bridge from here. Uh, if we just kind of ignore the fact this exists, but we'll see how this goes. And we're over budget. Might have screwed up the design on this one, which kind of sucks because this one takes a while to build. But we know the van makes it across. It's just kind of going to be a matter of what happens after the hydraulics activate. Hmm less than optimal. The best way to build a bridge like this is one section at a time. Or something, I actually have no idea. I'm completely guessing at everything I do. So, so far we know that span mostly works. If I had this support of the hydraulics, that's okay. But I still don't like it. New idea. We're going to make the bridge look something like this. We're going to raise it up slightly. That way we have to lift it slightly less. And I wanted this marker to line up right over top of this one. For simple hydraulic reasons. This is going to make my whole design that much easier. At least that's what I'm telling myself in my own head. Here's my current iteration of the bridge. Everything looks good so far. I haven't adjusted hydraulics. I just want to throw that out there now. That actually works out really good. $7,000 budget to spare and uh, the hydraulic part comes next. Not really sure actually how this is going to work, if at all. But the same can be said for literally anything I do. It made it across and the bridge doesn't really like that extra added pressure very much. Might have to reinforce that. So we'll add a hydraulic to this side to help lift it up just a little, which is going to look something like this. Don't love that result either. So I've gone ahead and added one more hydraulic to the whole mix to help with some extra lifting power, just because I kind of want to see what happens to help give me ideas. Ready? Here we go. Pretty much the same result. Working backwards a little bit, I've made an important discovery. I can build that far out before the bridge collapses on its own, so that means I need to build on a rock back to there. That's where the drawbridge has to be. And that's all evolved into this so far, which actually seems to hold up pretty well so far. All I need to do is incorporate the hydraulics somewhere in there for $9,000 and we got ourselves a working bridge. And conveniently, I already have a very sturdy steel cable going from this pillar down to what should be the drawbridge. And I'll be able to pull it up this far. I might have to move it from that point and we need to make a pivot point here, but you see what I'm getting at. So if we try this at its current state, the bridge still holds up because I believe the hydraulics are as strong as steel cables. And the rest of the bridge, not so good. I've removed one little piece right here that hopefully means the bridge will simply pivot instead of breaking. Well, you know what? That's nothing a little rope probably won't fix. Whoops, don't need the second one. Still under budget by quite a bit, but I don't want to go close to the budget if I don't have to. That rope made all the difference in the world. I should use rope more often. The bridge still isn't loving that next part very much. It probably just wants more hydraulic power. When one hydraulic destroys your bridge, just add another one. That'll fix everything for sure. That actually kind of gives me an idea, but let's see how this plays out. Yeah, kind of what I figured. Long story short, this is what it looks like now. We got a rope attached all the way out to the end to help support that little span. I reinforce this, that way it doesn't pull itself apart. I think we might be there. The little van that could, so far so good, it makes it across without issue. Doesn't like that center span very much. Off it goes. Actually a pretty sturdy bridge overall. Now for our little car. Nope, actually the hydraulics. Yay, it didn't pull itself apart. Pretty optimistic about this. Uh, that's not a super tall bridge though. Yeah, we're still a little ways away from completing it. And this horrendous creation is what I've been left with. I tried many different things and so far this seems to be working out the best. But I don't know if it actually works yet. I had to raise up the middle of the bridge because the boats would hit it, but so far that actually holds up. In quotations. The bridge did break a little bit, but when doesn't it? Now to see if it will raise over. Nope. Just added some reinforcements there. We're still under budget, so I'd be surprised if this actually works. Well, that guy made it across pretty easily, but he almost always does. Now, will it hold up? So far, so good. It's a little bit of a balancing act. I just lift the whole bridge up because, you know, that's kind of my style. Ooh, we're actually going to clear that. Down she goes. As long as it holds together now, which is a big if, and the red car can make its uh, journey, we'll be doing good. So far, so good. Please don't break now. Please don't break now. I think it's okay, and it should be able to make it up this even. Hopefully. Please do. And... Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously, we're that close. Now I have to redesign so much. Alright, so... That's... 
super annoying. We're going to have to raise this up to probably about here. It might not be that big of a deal. I just have to redesign this part mostly. My redesign looks like this. Hopefully it's as strong. The budget's about the same. Hopefully the cars can make it over top and you know the drill. So far so good for the little van that could. Never mind. Is this a little bit better? It doesn't like that little bouncy spot and I don't blame it. That's a lot of extra force that doesn't need to be there. But if it's not a bouncy bridge, it's not mine. Instead of having to build the most smoothest bridges ever, can we just start designing better cars? I really hope this thing actually makes it. It's gonna have trouble maybe with that spot. A little momentum should carry it right on past that. Hey, we're good. Wow, we actually beat that. That took a long time. And you know what? I'm not messing with this one ever again. Double overpass. All I have to build with is wood. This is like every other level for me. I always play just like this anyway. Basically, it's just going to be something like this. Like this one shouldn't actually be that hard or complicated. This is going to be something of a test run, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. Not very good. I did a little reinforcement in the lower left. Hopefully that makes just a little bit of difference. It made no difference at all. Am I allowed to make like a foot for the bridge right here in the middle? That actually works. I didn't know I could have been doing that the whole time. That would have changed everything so far because really all I have to do now is, well, probably basically this and that might actually work because we're really close to getting it there. Oh, come on. You just got to go faster. Well, now that I know I can do this sort of thing, that gives me some new ideas. So I might rebuild this whole thing because this bridge ain't working out anyways. We're even a little bit under budget. I have no idea if this one's going to work yet, but it actually might. That looks pretty solid to me. Nope. This might have just fixed the problem. And there we go. Nope. You know what? It's that little jump. Don't put jumps in bridges. So let's smooth out the jump and see where that leaves us. Uh-huh. So far, so good. It actually held up to that somehow. This side needs a little bit of work, but we're getting close. I basically just squeezed things together and added one piece of wood. Not even close. Really got to find a way to remove those bumps. Every little bump adds so much extra force it doesn't need to be there. So I've smoothed it out a little bit. I did have to remove some wood for budget issues, but that's okay. Less bridge is just savings anyways. That might just work. Oh, it actually is going to work. See, it's basically when I give up and just try stupid things that it all clicks. Wow, imagine doing it for $13,000. That's not going to happen. Lift me up. So those go across hydraulics A2. I am confused. So I think what it's saying is A1 goes over to A1. A2 gets hydraulic up to here or the bridge has to change at that point. And we have five pieces of road to work with. So that's it. We get these five. I got to lift them up. And I think this is actually pretty easy if I'm seeing this correctly because you probably just go like this. Then you put one here and up we go. Looks like it's going to be another one of those very simple boring builds, but I think it's going to work. So something like that. We'll turn and get a little bit of a better angle on this one. And oh, it might work. It doesn't love what's happening, but I sure do. Come on, we can do it. We're so close. Just jump a little bit. I thought I was so smart by doing that. Look at our budget. We would have crushed it. And our hydraulics are at maximum effect, but I've got a pretty easy way to solve this. We needed maybe that much extra, so the hydraulics just gonna attach to that part instead. Not actually sure if this is gonna work, but there's only one way to find out. It's gonna tilt this end up just a little more, I think. Come on, we can do it. Touch the star. Oh, it's pulling it too far that way now. So close. But basically the same thing. We just need to give a point here for this hydraulic to attach to. Not sure if this one's going to be enough. It does give us four hydraulics, but you know what? I like using half the things we have. The van makes it through fine. Will the car make it through for once? I didn't really split that bridge very nicely, did I? Come on, car. Oh, if you just hit the gas, you'll be fine. We were so close. I don't know how the bridge is still holding together, but it does have the endurance factor. Anyways, I properly segmented my bridge into its sections, I think. Close enough for me. And is it going to touch that star though? That's the question. Come on, that has to count. How is that not touching? It's six inches away. Well, this is going to get wildly unstable, but I think that might work anyway. Not really sure. It is going to go higher than it's ever gone before. That much I can guarantee. It did go higher. Look how close it is though. Seriously, I'm going to eke out just a little more then. So I move this hydraulic up a little bit. This one down a little bit. That should draw it up just that extra little bit it needs. But will it hold together is the problem. It might actually tip over at this point. Oh, no, there you go. It's actually going to work, I think. Come uh, on, touch it. Yeah, there we go. Make the gap. Make the gap. Oh, it rolled backwards. I just narrowed up this section too to give the bridge a little more budget to work with because we're going to have to make some changes, but I'm just not really sure what yet. Still holds up. The cheaper bridge so far. Maybe it'll lift even better now. I wonder if we just attached a rope to like this, if that would give it enough security. Not really, because by the time it's up here, the rope's going to be all slack. But let's see what happens anyway. It wouldn't be the first time the rope has somehow saved me. And... 
Oh, it actually almost worked. Make sure you come to me with all of your bridge needs, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just attach it to that and hopefully that also works. Up she goes. Not sure that rope's going to do much at that point, but we'll find out real soon. Come on. Nope. Even worse. Thinking about it, that might be the answer because it's not going to be super slack there. That's what I should have done from the beginning, but it takes time with me, you know, slowly. Up it goes. Yeah, that's going to prevent the bridge from going too far away. Oh, is it going to work? It worked. See, rope helps. And middle of the pack, I'll take it. And brace. $15,000, wood steel hydraulic rope, car hydraulic, boat hydraulic, car. $15,000, and I can't actually connect anything at that point, which is a fun challenge. I also only have four pieces of road to use. They don't even properly reach the other side. Good news though, it does give me one piece of rope, so that makes it all the easier. I have a feeling I know how this is going to go, but I just want to see. Kind of what I figured. It does give me a bit of an interesting idea though. Can I make a counterweight? Did the physics apply in that sense in this game? Like, if I build something kind of like that, is that going to lean to the back and pull things over? Nope, it's just going to swing forward. But I might be able to do it with steel. Like, if I go like that... Nope, it pivots in the middle. Right, I get it now. I don't know, something like that? Nope. I, the physics still don't really work that well. But here's what I'm thinking now. If we build into the rock over here, this will act as kind of like an anchor for everything we need. Uh, yep, that, uh, interesting. Okay. Doesn't seem to work. We probably just need more wood though. If we hang more out back here, that should give it lots of extra weight. Not my finest creation. Not even close to working. Did the game bug? I'm not really seeing a solution here. Unless I can make friction on this side somehow. Can I make friction with that? I mean, the level is called Land Brace. Do you seriously have to kind of give it one of these? Does that work? Oh, uh, that might work. If we add a little bit of support to that, are we making progress? Well, the taxi can't even climb up it, but you see what I'm getting at? You know what? I don't know if this actually works because the taxi can't climb up any of these ramps because it's got this stupid nose on the car. Would that one work? It might. Oh, it's close. This seems to be kind of as close as I can get it for now. And then this happens anyways. The taxi makes it up. But then it slides out, and obviously the second taxi is not going to make it, and we haven't even implemented any hydraulics yet. But hydraulics, I guess, could potentially replace uh, this guy. And you know what? It wouldn't even have to go up that much. Like, if we just expand it even 20%, that's probably more than enough to clear that. Just got to get that taxi to the other side somehow. And once again, I'll just start screwing with things until something works. That's not really super close. I don't really know why I'm allowed to build through the ground, but I am sometimes. And that kind of works to my favor. Because that'll give this whole thing more rigidity. Oh, we almost have one get across. Maybe something like that. Jump! Hmm. Adding a little bit on. We're still only at almost $11,000 of our $15,000 budget. I might be onto something here. Taxi 1 made it. Expand that bridge. Oh, is this going to work? Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. But admit it. It was closer than you thought it was. I'm thinking what we need is a little more expansion. What were we at? 20%? Let's try 30% and just see where that pushes it to. I'm going to have to move the hydraulic, but I just kind of want to get an idea of how close we actually are. Jump one. I always wanted a bridge where you had to really jump. So the hydraulic's probably going to have to go... Oh, that was actually really, really close. So close, in fact, that I could probably just go like this if I put it to you. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, maybe from here, though. Yeah, there we go. That's out of the way. And then we'll go to, uh, I don't know, 20% and see how that works. Jump is clear. Expando. Are we good? Ooh, not quite. We're going to need a little more expansion on that. We'll just start with the full 50% to see if that works. If that's overkill, we'll find a happy medium. Because the further out it pushes this way, the lower this one's going to get. But that might clear it. Is it going to do it? Holy dramatic, just let it go. This is actually going to work at only $10,700. This whole land anchoring thing would have been brilliant on the levels I played before. I just never realized you could actually do it. And there goes the final taxi. Great. Low budget. 